guys and welcome to this video. So today I'm going to be doing a one brand tutorial using all Ulta brand products because first of all you guys requested this video. I always listen to your requests so here it is. And second of all I'm doing this because I feel like there's a lot of brands at the actual drugstore that have gotten really pricey and Ulta Beauty's line is actually really affordable and really high quality so I wanted to show you guys some of the products that I've been using. I did a big haul in preparation for this video and I've been using these products so this isn't really a first impression. It's mostly showing you guys products I know I already like with the exception of one product which is a first impression and that is this brand new Melissa Michelle Ulta Beauty collaboration. So I had never used this palette before so this was kind of a first impression of this as well as a tutorial using the palette. If you guys are interested in seeing how I got this look and learning more about Ulta Beauty products and this palette then just keep on watching. So I'm actually going to start with concealer today because I'm using a powder foundation and I want to go ahead and get all my liquid products down before my powder products and obviously this concealer is liquid so this is the Ulta Beauty full coverage liquid concealer and it says that it's waterproof and most of these products I've been trying over the last few days um, before this video so this is more than a first impression because I wanted to test these out and I really love the color of this concealer but I wouldn't say I would consider this concealer a full coverage it seems more like a medium coverage to me um, and I'm blending this out with this Ulta Beauty blending sponge and you guys this sponge is amazing I'm on a sponge roll between this one and the Maybelline one I just tried they are both absolutely amazing and I know this concealer is a little bit light but I'm gonna be going over everything with that powder foundation so it'll all even out in the end and I also took just a dot of this concealer on the back of my hand and I'm gonna place it anywhere where I have more severe scarring that I think would show through a lightweight foundation. I just kind of place it wherever I need the coverage and then I kind of move my finger around it so that it's completely blended out and you can't see where the concealer starts and where it ends. But you're getting the most coverage on top of the actual problem area. Okay, so that's the concealing done. And before I move to the powder foundation, I'm going to set the concealer. Because what you don't want to do is go straight in with that powder foundation because this concealer isn't set yet. And that foundation will kind of tug and pull at it. And you'll lose that coverage you just added to the spots where you need it. So I'm using this in the shade light to medium. This is the Ulta Beauty finishing powder. This is a really nice powder. It just really blurs everything and adds a tiny bit more coverage as well, which is nice because like I said, we are using a lightweight foundation. So I'm just putting this anywhere where I conceal to make sure that doesn't move. Oh, and that was the e.l.f. blush brush that I used to apply that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with foundation. I'm using the Ulta Double Duty Wet and Dry Pressed Powder Foundation in the shade Warm. And I chose this because I don't have a whole lot of powder foundations, and I know a lot of you guys like powder foundations. So I'm trying to kind of look into more of them and test out more of them, and I've only used this a couple times, but I really like it. And I'm gonna be using this Maybelline Powder Brush that I just reviewed to apply this and I'm just going to be using patting motions because again we don't want to disturb the concealer that we just laid down and you can see it has a decent amount of coverage it's not a full coverage foundation by any means which is why I did some concealing beforehand but it definitely evens everything out but it's so natural and so easy to use I feel like this is going to become one of my go-to products for just running errands or when I need to just pull myself together really really quickly and for those of you that have problem skin right now you guys know I went through that as well I still don't have perfect skin but I don't have acne anymore and those of you that are struggling with acne or maybe just prefer a fuller coverage I think this would be an amazing setting powder because it would make any kind of medium coverage foundation a full coverage foundation if you pair this with it this works really well on my oily skin though I still do get oily right in my t-zone but with just a little bit of blotting throughout the day it's totally fine and I've just been really really enjoying this as a powder foundation so I would definitely recommend it and now I'm gonna fix this brow situation we've got going on and I'm gonna use the Ulta Beauty ultra slim brow pencil I got mine in the shade medium brown and I've been enjoying this you know it reminds me of the NYX one and the L'Oreal one that I like but I think I got the wrong shade you guys will see it's a little bit light for me I can make it work and it looks pretty nice for a natural brow look because it is such a light color and I can just kind of roughly fill in my brows because there's not going to be any visible 
lines or streaks because the color is so forgiving. And then to finish off the brows and go ahead and prep the eyes for eyeshadow, I'm going to be using this AOA Studio E111 brush and that concealer again. And use this as a primer for my lids as well as something to clean up my brows. And it's such a simple step, but I feel like it makes everything look so much more professional and put together. Okay, and I'm just gonna set my lids with that same finishing powder, this one, in light to medium. Okay, so I'm gonna come back to the eyes, but first I'm gonna bronze, and I have been loving this bronzer by Ulta. This is the shade Warm, and it's just a matte bronzer. Super simple. I think they have the shade Warm and the shade Cool. And even though this is the warm one, I don't feel like it's too warm. It doesn't look orange on the skin. It just warms everything up. And I'm going to be applying it with this Wet n Wild powder brush because I'm not trying to contour. I'm just trying to warm up the skin. I wore this bronzer and this foundation yesterday. And I ran errands. I did all kinds of stuff. And it is so incredibly hot right now that I was expecting to get home and have my makeup completely melted off. And it wasn't. I was oily right here. But other than that, I was pretty matte. And this bronzer didn't budge all day long. And then when I was preparing to make this video, I was on Ulta's website and I saw that this palette launched. This is the Melissa Michelle and Ulta Beauty collaboration. And at first I saw it was $20 and I was like, that's not a very good deal. That's kind of an expensive palette. And then I clicked on it and I saw that it comes with a highlighter, a blush, nine eyeshadows, and a lipstick. So I was like, okay, wait, that is a really good deal because it's basically like $5 for a lipstick, $5 for an eyeshadow palette, $5 for a highlight and $5 for a blush. So obviously it's only affordable if everything in here is actually good. But if it is, this is an amazing deal. And you guys can see like this palette is so me. It has like a champagne colored highlight, which is what I go for. The blush is like a natural blush. It's not too pink, which I don't really like. And then these eyeshadows are absolutely beautiful. These ones almost look foiled, which remind me of my favorite eyeshadow palette, which is that J.Cat Beauty one. And then of course a nude lipstick, which you guys know I'm all about nude lipstick. So I really, really want to like this, but you guys know I'll keep it real with you guys and tell you if I actually do. I'm going to start first with this blush, and then I'm going to go in with the highlight. And to apply the blush, I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild contour brush. Yeah, this blush is such a pretty color, and it's not too pigmented. Like, I've had to build it up a little bit, but... I would almost prefer that because it's a lot easier to add more than it is to take off blush. So when blushes are overly pigmented, it can ruin a makeup look. It almost just kind of warms up the skin even more. It's like a bronzy blush and I really like that for summer. Okay, so, so far so good. And now I'm going to go in with this highlighter right here. It's called Holler and I'm going to do that on my Wet n Wild highlighting brush from their summer collection and it looks like there's three kind of different highlighting shades in here there's like a bronzy one a champagne one and then a lighter one that almost has a little bit of a pink undertone it looks like but i'm just gonna mix them all together and see what we come out with Ooh, that's pretty yeah that is really pretty it's got that like wet skin look do you guys see that so i hope the camera is going to be picking up like how gorgeous this is it's a really nice kind of like candlelit highlighter it's got a tiny bit of shimmer running through it so i wouldn't recommend putting it where you have like really large pores because i think it would highlight that but as an overall highlighter, it is so glowy and beautiful. Okay, now for the part that I'm most excited about, which is the eyeshadows. I'm going to be using as many of these as I can so that we can really test out the whole palette. But I'm gonna go ahead and start with this shade called Rosemary right here and put that through my crease. And I'm gonna do that on this Wet n Wild crease brush. It has a little bit more of like a reddish undertone, but I feel like it really works with the blush. It's a very similar tone to the blush. And now I'm going to go in with this Eco Tools dual-sided brush. There's the blending side and the smudge side. And I'm going to take this shade right here, which is called Bing Bing, right here. I'm going to use this closer into my crease for a little bit of a deeper transition. This is such a pigmented shade. And I'm going to go back in with this original blending brush. I'm not adding any more product to it. I'm just blending out the edges. And now I'm going to take my favorite packer brush, which happens to be $1, and it's this e.l.f. professional brush. And I'm going to take the shade right above it right here called Cades, and I'm going to put that all over my lid. Oh my gosh, you guys see that? What? And I did not wet this brush at all. This shade is gorgeous. There's a little bit of fallout, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's nothing crazy. That is so pretty, and this color is not 
one I feel like I've seen. Okay, now just to deepen the crease a little bit, I'm gonna go in with this shade Harley right here, which is the darkest matte shade in the palette. And I'm gonna use that on that same brush I used with the shade Bing Bing. And you guys, I'm like barely tapping my brush into this palette and I'm barely touching my eye. These are just really, really pigmented. And now I'm just gonna blend everything out. Okay, now I'm gonna take this matte light shade right here and put that underneath my brow bone. Okay, now I'm gonna take this shade called Lola, and this is the lightest shimmery shade, and I'm gonna put this in my inner corner. This is a really pretty inner corner highlight. Sometimes, like, really light shimmery shades in the inner corner can look too bright, if you know what I mean, and this almost has a golden undertone, so it doesn't look overwhelmingly bright, but it still really brightens up that inner corner. I'm going to take it a little bit underneath my lash line, about halfway, and then I'm going to take the shade Bing Bing right here on the outer half of my eye. And then in the very center of my lower lash line, I'm going to take this shade right here, Cades, that we have all over the lid, and place it there, just to tie everything together. You guys, this is such a pretty eyeshadow. I'm super impressed by these eyeshadows. Loving this highlighter, love the shade of this blush. So even if I don't like the lipstick, this palette to me is worth the money because you get an eyeshadow palette, a highlighter, and a blush. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with this eyeliner. This is the Ulta Beauty Micro Felt Tip Liner in black. And when I first took this out of the packaging, I thought it might be a pencil because it's so thin, it looks like it's gonna be a pencil, but it has the tiniest little felt tip. And this is a nice eyeliner, I like it. I think it has a really precise tip, it's easy to work with. Do I love it and do I think everyone needs to have it no definitely not but it doesn't transfer to my lid all day when I wear it which I like but I feel like it does feather just a little bit as you're applying it and then for mascara I'm gonna go in with this Ulta Beauty twisted volume maximum performance mascara it looks like this the applicator is really really nice and it reminds me of the essence I love extreme mascara and you guys know I love that mascara but I am gonna be going in with some lashes so I really just wanted to show you guys how this performs I'm actually gonna zoom you guys in a little bit. So you can see with the first layer it's nothing groundbreaking. It just looks like a normal mascara. But the thing I like about it is that it's so buildable. You can go in with five layers of this if you want. It won't get clumpy because the brush is like a comb and it kind of combs through the lashes for you. So you can see that's the second layer on and it looks so much better but yet not clumpy at all. And that's the third layer. Okay, so you guys can see how big of a difference that made. It's a really, really nice mascara. The only thing is it's kind of hard to get to the bottom lashes because the wand is so large that the whole time you feel like you're going to get mascara on your lower lash line. So I would use a separate lower lash mascara if you have one, if you do use this mascara. But overall, I really like this mascara and how much you can layer it and really really build up your lash volume like I may not go in with falsies actually because this mascara is awesome I forgot how much I like it okay I'm gonna finish off this look with this lipstick that comes in here it's a nude lipstick and by the way I don't know if I showed you guys that this palette does come with a mirror Hello. so if that's something you look for in a palette this one has a mirror. So this shade is called Scandi. It's got kind of a glass feeling packaging and then this rose gold top. And this color is right up my alley. I'm gonna go ahead and apply. Ooh, I love this color. Yeah, this color is very, very me. I can definitely see myself wearing this color all the time. It's a nice like nude color, but it still looks like a lipstick. It's not too nude to where it's questionable whether or not you're wearing a lipstick. It still makes a statement, but it's nude. Who knew my choker was going to coordinate with this look so well? So that's this look completed, and all these products that I mentioned are products that I've been using, are Ulta products that I would overall recommend, and I kind of gave you my thoughts as I was going. So none of these were really a first impression other than this palette, and I have to tell you guys, I am so impressed by this. The fact that it comes with all of this stuff and it's $20. These eyeshadows are so pigmented. This highlighter is beautiful, and this blush color is gorgeous. This lipstick is beautiful, and everything kind of goes. It kind of creates the whole cohesive look for you. Sometimes when you do like a really fun eyeshadow look, it's hard to find a blush color, a highlight, and a lipstick that will all complement the eye color, and this kind of lays it out for you. And I feel like this would look good on a lot of different skin tones. The colors chosen were really dynamic, and I really like that. So overall, you guys, I am so blown away by this palette. I wasn't expecting to like it as much as I did. I hoped I would like it, but I wasn't expecting to. But I love it, and I highly recommend it to you guys. So that is going to be it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this one brand tutorial and kind of first impression of this really cool palette. If you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button while you're here, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.